Hello to all you CERN fans on YouTube. Welcome to the second part of our my informational video. Uh, the second half here will focus on the main parts of an AF timer and how AF timers work. There are actually three types of timers in the siren world. There's a PGA timer. Uh, I think there was a different type of PD. Well, PGA. Well, PG something else timer. And that AR timer, AR5 timer, AF timer, and AF5 timer. Well, the difference between an AF timer and an AF timer is these wheels here are used for Sec here, let me zoom in. Those wheels there are smaller, so they only run a three minute. It takes three minutes for these to completely go around in a circle. And what these things do is tell these micro switches here, because these are cams and micro switches. These are called cams. And these micro switches, when they're in the hole, and when they're down, the siren's on. And when they're up, siren's off. Like now, this alert is off because it's up. So, but this is, I'll tell you what the names of these are. This is the alert cam. Wait, no. This is attack. This is the attack. This is the alert. This is the fire. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, let me quick check this. Yeah, and then this is the test. This is just always weird. I don't know what this one is. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of weird. But I know that this is fire, this is attack, and this is alert. And this is your transformer. And when the cams come down, like when the cams come down, yeah, like you can hear it clicking because it's going up and down on the attack one. But when the cams come down, and like power is like the switch, the micro switch is down, and then the thing goes in the crevice of the cam. It sends power to these things, which click and send 120 volts to either a uh, regular motor starter, like what I was using for the 2T. This thing here, this motor starter, like each of these ends here had one, like, oh, like the 120, or it'll send it to your two control terminals on your RCM1, or RCM1A, or. 1B, whatever it is, and then, though, this is your transformer, beefs it up, beefs the power up, this is your clock motor, turns the cams, then we go into our fancy how to wire it up, so, right now we're at three minutes, we have some time, so if we go over to these terminals here, those are terminals, let me look here. Wait, this is 15. I think that might be terminals 15 through 19. Because you have to jump, unless you have a radio, for radio controlling, what the radio does is, power's coming from here. And what that radio does is, it makes a bridge, which sends, which completes the circuit, which tells the timer to turn on. But what I'm doing, well, sorry, that's my mom singing again. But, um, well, I'll explain what I'm doing later because I don't want you guys to get too confused. So, if you don't have, a, like, a radio hooked up to it, you have to put a bridge in there. Otherwise, as soon as you let go of the button you're pressing, it will turn off. Or, sorry, I'm still zoomed in. So, as soon as you let go of the button you're pressing, it will turn off. So, you have to put that bridge in there. Uh, let me zoom back here. Sorry about that. Those are the fuses here. You just need two. Can't tell you off the top of my head, but they're low voltage fuses. You can get them anywhere. I'll just if you have an AF timer and they break, just bring in some spares and you'll realize. And it also says on the ends here. Now comes the mess I made, but it works. Oh my God, my legs in the way. Okay, let's zoom in here. Okay, if you look, 
in each of these buttons here, there is a black wire on this end and a different colored wire on each of these ends. Well, each of those wires have its terminal here and then there's a black. So, and then when that button is pressed, it completes the circuit and then there's no resistance between the whatever color and the black. And that com yeah, so that completes the circuit which tells the timer to turn on and it will start cycling this and that will get the relays to click and send power to the, your uh, RCM or whatever it is for whatever s cycle or timing the part you're using like attack, alert, fire, or test. Test is green, black. Uh, alert is, excuse my head here if I'm in the way. Blue, black. Fire is red, black. And attack is, uh, what you might call it, yellow, black. And cancel is a darker green, black. So. Well, no, darker green, brown. Dark, regular green, brown is what a t cancel is. So, what you want to do is, when you want to supply power to your timer, you hook them up to terminals 9 and 10. So that's where your power comes in, 110. It's the standard outlet current. Now, when you want to have your hooked up to a, con to a control in RCM1, you have to have one part of the power going from terminals from one part going from terminal 10 I think it's 10 yeah it's 10 one part going from 10 to whatchamacallit one part going to 10 and one part going to number two. So two and ten are the ones that you connect to to get your power to go to your um, RCM1. I'm pretty sure that's it. And you also have to put a bridge between three, three and three and nine otherwise your timer won't engage at all. So that one isn't necessary. That one has to be there. And what I did is I put uh, another jumper in between terminals 7 and 4, I think it is, for attack. So that way I don't need to press the button for attack. So as soon as I turn the timer on, attack will automatically engage. So it's acting like the button's already been pressed. So there's zero resistance there on the ohm scale. So, because what I do is to radio control this, I don't use a radio. I'll show you what I use. I use a... Let me zoom out here. Not zooming in. I use a... Whatchamacallit, uh... Digital loggers and I see... Web power switch. This allows me to hook up the AF timer to number one. And then I could hook up the RCM to number five. So that way, this one would run alert and test. And this one would run attack because this one would be hooked up to the AF timer, which would turn on the RCM1. And the way this works is you have your wireless router here hooked up to this, and it gives you a code. Well, it's not really a code, but when you first buy it, it's set up for 191, well, it's 192-168-0.100 for the VPN. When you type that in in your control bar, once you hook up to your wireless router on the Wi-Fi on any wi wireless device, except for Android, it does not work on Android, because it won't work. Well, it works on most Android. It'll work on a Galaxy, but it won't work on an Optimus. Any Optimuses, it won't work, because it doesn't like that. There's no internet available for it. It's just like the connected here. So once you type that in, it comes with the password. One, two, three, four, and your login is admin. So, and then it will bring you to the screen where it'll say outlet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you can turn select between on or off. 
9 and 10 are always on, so that's where I plug in my router to. And then this will be its, this will be in its own separate box when it's hooked up because it won't fit in my won't fit in the RC2 either way because it's too small the box. So, and then that when I press on outlet number 1, it will turn on the AF timer and since there's a bridge between 4 and not 4 and 7. Up. Yeah, 7 and... Yeah, 4 and 7. So this is a bridge between 4 and 7. It turns... It automatically turns on and runs attack and sends a voltage to run attack to the RCM1. Next, I'll show you... In our next video, I will show you how to hook up your AF timer to your RCM1 and how to um, hook this web power switch up to your RCM... I meant to your AF timer and how to do it all safely. Thanks for watching.